What's going on guys? Killer6 here with episode 2 of my legendary items guide inside of Borderlands pre-sequel and today we're looking at the Torrent. There are several prefixes this gun can spawn with including deft for accuracy, flying for bullet speed, stopping for damage, skirmish for reload speed, stoic for stability, and bladed for bonus 50% melee damage. Now my own personal preference would be stopping or flying and I'll go into why in just a moment. Now at level 50 this gun does 1733 base damage and depending on the prefix the accuracy will range between 88.2 to 90.6 percent fire rate ranges between 10.4 and 11.2 percent and the reload speed can go anywhere from 2.2 to 1.9 and all three of those categories have such a small variation that i recommend the bullet speed or damage variant to get more bang for your buck the skirmish variant gains one extra bullet in the magazine to give it 48 but all the other versions have a uh, mag size of 47. As you can see here, the shot pattern of this gun is very good and it works a lot like the Lasco on Borderlands 2 and the hip firing feels very accurate and doesn't have a lot of recoil. Now this gun is obtainable through a variety of sources including the grinder and vending machines, but it has an increased chance to drop from Meg in the Kill Meg quest inside the Hyperion Hub of Heroism. This mission is given to you by Dr. Nakayama and the whole mission is kind of a big Star Wars easter egg referencing the garbage shoot inside of Star Wars Episode 4. Now the trick to farming Meg is that you can only kill her once, so in order to farm her repeatedly until you get this item, you're going to need to save at the start of the mission by forcing a badass rank save, and then every time you fight her and she does not drop the item, you're going to need to dashboard, or if you're on PC, you're going to want to Alt F4 to exit the game without saving. In order to get multiple variants of this gun, you're going to need a second controller or a friend online to do this with you. Now bear in mind if you use a second controller on Xbox or PS3 that you will want to be right beside of Meg's garbage shoot with the other player right after the fight so you can drop the items off. Because if you bring them over from the original spawn then you're going to most likely trigger multiple save points along the way which will ruin your chance to farm Meg. Now this farm took me 14 tries to finally get this drop and you're going to see that right here. And actually 14 runs is not all that bad all things considered there you can see that I get the bladed version right there. And now that you've seen me get the drop let's go ahead and go into exactly how you can do this yourself and how you can do multiple runs. Now first of all, like I said earlier, you're going to want to make sure that you, once you've accepted the quest, go ahead and save and quit. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up a little message like I've got here on my screen that says that you failed. Now, of course, you can uh, go ahead and run it the first time and, and fail on purpose, or go ahead and kill Meg and, and dashboard the first time. I just like having this up on my screen to remind me that I've got this mission still available. Now, you want to uh, avoid the temptation of turning right right here. I know that the little diamond makes you think, oh, i got to run that way. But if you go that way, you're going to have to run all the way around just so you can get to these double doors over here. So this way is the fastest. Now, uh, these doors never look like they're going to open until you're right on them. Now, when you get up here, you just want to talk to Dr. Nakayama. He's going to have the little exclamation point over his head, which means he has a mission for you. Go ahead and accept that mission, and then head over here to the uh, the garbage chutes once again. Now, each one of these runs takes approximately two to two and a half minutes, uh, depending on how fast you're going. And uh, I've got this on normal mode just so I can get the drop for you guys. On uh, you know the true Vault Hunter mode, it will take maybe an extra 10-15 seconds. But all in all, you don't even have to fight any enemies to do this. That's what makes this such an easy run. So my final verdict on this gun is that it is a fun SMG. It's my current substitute for the last go. It's not quite as good, but it's as close as you can get on the pre-sequel. The, uh, the shot uh, pattern, like I said earlier, is uh, more compact than the last go. But, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please take a moment to click that like button and hit subscribe for more Legendary Adam reviews. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow with episode 3. Take care. Sorry.